Meghan Markle furious about ex-Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown's ridicule. An insider look at the drama, opinions, and backstory. <laughs> Introduction. The royal drama continues. Imagine being in the middle of a never-ending media storm. Every choice, expression, and relationship of Meghan Markle is talked about worldwide. Recently, a new chapter was added when former Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown harshly criticized Meghan, saying she and Prince Harry are addicted to drama. Whether you love, dislike, or are just curious about Meghan Markle, her and Prince Harry's lives are fascinating. Brown's harsh words raise important questions about fame, the scrutiny of modern royals, and society's judgments on powerful women. Let's explore why Meghan is reportedly furious with Tina Brown's comments and how this media storm affects their public image. <clears throat> who is Tina Brown, and why do her opinions matter? The editor who shaped modern celebrity culture. If you've read Vanity Fair or The New Yorker, you've seen Tina Brown's work. She's known for mixing celebrity gossip with deep thoughts, making her a cultural leader. Her opinions are sharp and insightful, affecting more than just magazine readers. So, why does Brown have the right to speak about Meghan Markle? Her years of experience and cultural insight offer a unique perspective. Her critiques are more than just gossip. They are based on her deep understanding of the royal family and media ethics. Brown's past criticisms, a pattern of outspokenness. Brown has been critical of Meghan and Harry before. She called their decision to leave the royal family a disaster and questioned their motives. On the Ankler podcast, she again criticized their choices, calling them drama-filled. Brown's consistent criticism gives her opinions weight, which is why Meghan is reportedly upset. But is Brown being too harsh, or does her critique reflect a broader sentiment about Meghan's choices? That's the question. <clears throat> Meghan Markle's side. The struggles of living under a microscope. From Hollywood to Buckingham Palace, Meghan's journey. It's easy to forget Meghan Markle wasn't born into royalty. She had a successful career and an independent identity before marrying into the royal family. The scrutiny she faced was intense, with every outfit and friendship becoming a headline. Given the intense scrutiny, it's no wonder Meghan might feel frustrated by Tina Brown's comments. How many of us could say our choices would withstand such scrutiny? The worst judgment? Why this statement cuts deep. Brown's claim that Meghan has the worst judgment is harsh. It questions her decisions and suggests a flaw in her ability to handle public and private life. For Meghan, who champions female empowerment and mental health awareness, this critique feels personal and attacks her values. While Meghan hasn't responded to Brown's comments, insiders say she's furious. It's a question many can relate to. Who wouldn't be upset by public judgments on their character? <clears throat> the drama addiction, an unfair accusation or harsh reality. The roots of the drama label. Brown said Meghan and Harry are addicted to drama. This isn't just a random claim. Since leaving royal duties, they've been in the spotlight with big projects. These include the Oprah interview, a Netflix deal, and Harry's memoir, Spare. To some, this drama is endless. To others, it's about self-expression and freedom. It's a matter of perspective. But, in celebrity world, keeping private is hard. Meghan and Harry's media presence is constant. It's hard to avoid drama when you're in their shoes. Living in the spotlight, the double-edged sword. Being famous has its good sides, like influence and wealth. But, it also means constant criticism. Meghan is seen as self-centered, overshadowing her real efforts. Are Meghan and Harry seeking drama, or just telling their story? It's a question many ask. <laughs> Why this critique goes beyond Meghan Markle? A broader look at public judgment on women in power. Tina Brown's words show how society judges women in power harshly. Meghan's choices are judged differently than men's. This is true for many women, like Michelle Obama and Serena Williams. Is Brown's critique a reflection of society's bias? By calling Meghan's decisions poor, is she echoing a broader prejudice? The unique challenges of modern royals. Today, royals face new challenges thanks to social media. They can't hide from the spotlight like before. Meghan and Harry are trying to redefine their roles, but it's tough. For those who relate to Meghan, her story highlights the struggle to meet public expectations. It's a challenge many face. <laughs> Conclusion. The story continues. What's next for Meghan and Harry? As Meghan and Harry move forward, they'll face more criticism. Their every move will spark debate. 
It's a constant challenge in today's media world. But Meghan has shown resilience. From actress to royal to media figure, she's stayed true to herself. How she responds to Brown's critique remains to be seen. We can expect more from the Sussexes. Love them or criticize, they're influential figures of our time. <sighs> Call to action. Your thoughts? What do you think of Tina Brown's comments on Meghan Markle? Do you see her as making poor choices or navigating challenges with grace? Share your thoughts in the comments or on social media. Let's discuss how public figures, women in particular, face unique pressures. Where do we go from here? The future of the royal brand and public perception. Redefining royalty in the modern world. Meghan and Harry's journey raises a big question. What does being royal mean today? With digital connections making private lives more public, royal roles are changing. Their choice to leave royal duties shows a new way to serve the public outside palace walls. Some see their move as a fresh take on the monarchy. They praise their charity work and mental health advocacy. Others think it's a betrayal, seeing it as a choice for personal freedom over duty. A brand built on authenticity or publicity. The Sussexes have built a strong brand since leaving royal duties. It's based on being real, open, and independent. But, some say their fame comes from too much media and controversy. For Meghan and Harry, being open is key to their independence. They talk about tough topics like racism and mental health. This makes them seem more relatable and modern. <clears throat> the psychology of public scrutiny. Why we're so captivated by Meghan and Harry. Our fascination with royals and celebrities. The Sussexes add relatability to the allure of royalty. They share their struggles and vulnerabilities. This mix of empathy and debate is rare. Our interest in them might show our own desires for fame and freedom. They symbolize the struggle between public image and personal freedom. Their story touches on fame's effects on mental health and identity. The role of the media, fair coverage or feeding frenzy. The media shapes how we see the Sussexes. Coverage is often split between praise and criticism. Even influential voices have their own views. Media scrutiny of Meghan taps into biases, often focusing on her as a woman and person of color. This creates a sense of protectiveness. For others, it fuels skepticism about their motives. <laughs> Meghan and Harry's next chapter. Will they rise above the noise? Embracing their own narrative. Meghan and Harry want to tell their own story. With projects like Archetypes and Spare, they share their lives. They control their narrative, inspiring conversations on self-determination. As they move forward, their legacy depends on staying true to themselves. Will they uplift others and champion causes they care about? Facing the critics with grace or retaliation. How Meghan and Harry respond to criticism will shape their image. Will they ignore it, address it, or use it for future projects? Their reaction shows their resilience and values. In the end, the world watches as Meghan and Harry change what it means to be modern royals. Their story shows how fame is evolving, the value of being true to oneself, and the need for freedom under intense watch. For those who look up to them, Meghan and Harry shine as symbols of modern values in a traditional world. <laughs> Final thoughts. A call to reflect on media, identity, and judgment. So. Where do you stand? Do you think Meghan and Harry are handling a tough situation with honor, or do you agree with Tina Brown's views on their decisions? No matter your view, their story highlights the unfair attention public figures, women, and people of color often face. As we consume media, we have the power to shape what stories get attention. The real lesson here is to look beyond headlines, challenge our own biases, and see the full lives of public figures. This way, we can build a culture that values diversity, strength, and the bravery to be oneself. <clears throat> Join the conversation. What are your thoughts on Meghan, Harry, and the modern media landscape? Are you hash team Sussex, unsure of their decisions, or just intrigued by the challenges of fame? Share your thoughts in the comments, discuss with friends, or post online. Let's start a deeper conversation that goes beyond quick judgments, exploring what it means to be famous today.